Hi guys, this is Saurav. In this video, we will learn how we can create AI app for search engine. Okay, so let me show you the example first, then we will talk it later. So that's my app here, Ali search engine app. Okay, so whenever someone open this app, so let me just refresh the screen. Okay, and here you can see what will happen whenever we open our app. Hello, please ask me something. Okay, so what's he say? Please ask me something. Okay, so you can see here that one is ask me button. So whenever I click on this ask me button and we have to tell where we have to search. Like suppose if I just uh, ask her like Harry Potter and I have to search this word in the Google. So I have to tell her like Harry Potter, Google. Then she will search that in Google. If I just uh, uh, say that uh, Harry Potter wiki. So she will search uh, Harry Potter in the Wikipedia. Okay, so we'll open the Harry Potter page in Wikipedia direct. Okay, so let me just uh, show you. I'm going to click on ask me button. Harry Potter, Google. Here you can see Harry Potter in Google. Now let me just ask you again, ask again and Harry Potter wiki. Okay, so just click on this ask me button. Harry Potter wiki. So you can see Harry Potter Wikipedia pages here, right? So that's the AI app. Okay, so that's very basic app. Uh, okay, so we will create this app. You can implement this functionality in that one app. Here you can see create AI app that I have already created the video about that. Okay, so you can use this functionality in this app also, right? So, right, so let me uh, create this uh, one uh, currently app, right? So how we can create this app? That's very easy way. Okay, so let me just click on start new project. We are using here MIT App Inventor to create this app. Okay, so that one is search Ali. Okay, that's my app name. My robot name is Ali. Okay, so here we go. So you can see here that's our first screen, right? So I need here one simple web browser web viewer sorry web viewer here like this and i need here one layout that one is horizontal arrangement drag and drop this here make this with this fill parent like this okay and now we need to drag and drop here one button okay and let just change this button font size around 30 and change this text to something ask me okay and make this click on horizontal arrangement make this center align vertical also center and change this horizontal background to uh i'm going to make it you can change any color okay so i'm using here this one color okay and click on turn click on ask me button and make this background color of this button should be same okay and I'm going to change this text color of this button to white. Yeah, it's look fine right now. Ask me. And that's the browser here. Okay. Now we need here one image and that should be GIF image. Okay. So how we can find it. And here you can see that one is GIF image. I will give you the link of this image in the description. That one is some website here. Okay. I will give you the link of this website. Uh, this image link okay this one gif image go to the app inventor and paste your url here like this in the home url okay click on web viewer and just paste this url in home url simple now let's drag and drop here one text to speech click on media and you will see text to speech just like this right now we have to drag and drop a speech recognizer but if i will use this speech recognizer so this will display the google dialog box but i don't want a google dialog box so i want to drag and drop import one extension here and just search here in a google speech recognizer for mit app inventor with without dialog box okay and here you can see this one voice recognizer extension okay then just click on this i will give you the link of this extension also okay this one and here you can see the ai x file here that's one this one sc speech recognizer v2 just download this file aix file 
and go to the MIT App Inventor, click on import extension and upload this file and click on import. Okay. Now this one is take some seconds, right? Fine. Just drag and drop this here like this. Simple. You don't need to, you don't need to do anything here in the design section. Design is ready. Now let's go to the block section, click on block. And now here, what we will do whenever our screen will in a slice. Okay. It means just click on this screen and here you can see when screen dot in a slice then we have to call here text to speech this one okay and what we will do we have to type one message here click on text and just drag and drop here like this and just type you can type any message here okay let's suppose hello please ask me something or you can type any other message also okay so it's all depend depend upon you right now something spelling is wrong like this one now whenever civil civil uh civil tell that one that one gif image will say something hello please ask me something then we have to replace this image to this one without speaking okay so click just copy this and this one uh, link okay I will give you the this link also in the description go to MI tab inventor and then we have to set click on web viewer and you will see here web viewer that one is URL web viewer home URL you will find your set web viewer URL and just copy this drag and drop here remove this text and paste your link here now we have to display this home URL after speaking then just click on this text to speech and here you can see after speaking just drag and drop this here and make it here okay like this now we need to do one more thing here for search engine how we can uh, search in a browser in a Google or in a wiki so this is very simple now whenever someone click on this button one it means this button name is ask me button right so we have only one button so you can rename this button also okay this one button means this ask me button right button one so whenever someone click on this button so we have to get the text okay so click on sc speech recognizer and you can see here call speech recognizer get text fine now after getting the text you can see here when SC re speech recognizer I'm going to set this uh, like this here fine right so when speech recognizer after getting test we have to check if the user say that I have to search on wiki so we have to get what people want the people want in a wiki and in a Google and in a Yahoo you can add on more uh, more search uh, more search engine in it in this uh, in this app right so I'm implementing here only two that one is one is wiki and second one is Google only now let me just figure it out how we can find the wiki and Google word so that's very easy okay just click on this control option and just drag and drop this if if and click on this text and here you can see the if content dot text if the result result means whatever user will ask it means that one is result it means get result means if I just ask Harry Potter wiki then this one is whole Harry Potter wiki and if this one contain the text it means what text this will contain is if this one is contain wiki make sure W should be capital okay then all should be small W I K I wiki okay then we will call here web browser okay so simple click on this uh, web viewer and here you can see the option of go to home url option right this one okay call web viewer to go to url okay this one then which url we have to use here if i use the wiki so here you can see the option of uh, wiki option where is the I have to find it let's let's how we can do this so that's very easy let me just search here something Harry Potter and just type here wiki okay and this one Harry Potter Wikipedia right 
so how the wiki search something so you can see here the en.wikipedia.org wiki then they will put the name so i'm removing everything and just copy and paste this and i'm going to paste the url here in the uh, in the url just copy paste here and paste it here HTTP en wikipedia org slash wiki simple okay now we have to join the text right so how we can join and we have to remove the wiki this one name also right uh, suppose let's uh, let's me do one thing let's click on text and here you can see join option just drag and drop this here go to url you have to uh, join like this okay then join should be first one is wikipedia if the if the text is content wiki then we have to search in a wiki so we will join text this one wiki and what text we have to search on wikipedia so this should be click on the list and here you find the select list item list select list item list this one just drag and drop this here and we have to split the text also okay because we have to get only the text what we want to search on the wikipedia okay so just simple we need to use your split function so just click on text and you find your split this one just drag and drop this here then we have to split our text from the result it means this one from the whole text and where we have to split this text in the wikipedia okay so just drag and drop this here so make sure you have to tell uh, to ali uh, wiki or google in the last okay suppose if i just uh, say that say that sabrina carpenter wiki not that like wiki sabrina carpenter no don't do like this we have to uh, tell her like sabrina carpenter then wiki okay or otherwise sabrina carpenter and google okay and we have to get the text one just click on maths and you will find your zero just drag and drop this here and make it here one like this All right now we have to do it again then if the else if suppose if they uh, the user uh, say google then if any text content google then what we will do we have to search it on google just copy and paste it and we have to change the google url you will find here this one url i will give you the, this link google link also in the description just paste here and just change and make sure google g should be capital and other is uh, normal okay now that's easy and simple everything is complete right now right let me just uh, check this app how it's work okay and i'm using your ai companion hello please ask me something so you can see ask me something and image is changed right now right now let's click on ask me button harry potter wiki right then click on again ask me button Harry Potter, Google. Oh, that's amazing, right? This app is working perfectly. There's no doubt, right? So that's all about it. So that's overall code we have done, right? So that's very easy way to create this app. If you have some suggestion and if you have some any doubt, you can ask me on email, you can ask me on Insta. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video, share this video. Have a nice day. Be safe. Bye-bye.